everyone welcome back to a new video in today's video i'm going to be doing an acrylic set and i'm going to be using nail nails acrylic for this one i have got cotton candy this is a this has got a nice shimmer through it. it's really nice and soft pastel pink that's soft pastel lemon on the bottom and i've got bermuda bay so this is kind of like what i thought was the blue equivalent of cotton candy it's really pretty and soft pastel blue and i will also be using crystal clear and mega white so those are the acrylics we're going to be using the glitter is as always from nail sugar and it's called twinkle bell i saw this in the group and i was like i don't have that glitter and i do have it and it's oh, the, whoever put it in the group i can't remember but i was like i need to use that it's so nice so this is it it's like a pinky blue with like oh it's just really nice you'll have a look in a minute um, for the pinky, I am going to put the soft pastel pink at the free edge and I'm going to work it up the nail and we're going to do like, um, a bit of a, an ombre-ish kind of thing. We're going to do the cotton candy is going to go at the cuticle area and blend it down. So the cotton candy is a little bit of a darker pink and it's got a shimmer in it. So when we put this on... It blends really nicely with that pastel pink and then it also gives us a really nice shimmer so I'm just gonna put the cuticle bead on someone said on a comment on YouTube about doing a gender reveal set um, although this isn't actually a gender reveal set I thought Twinkle Bell would be the ideal glitter to do a gender reveal set I've never actually I don't know I don't know that I've ever, have I seen, I don't think I've ever seen any gender reveal sets. I might have to Google them and see what they're all about. But yeah, I thought Twinkle Bell would be perfect for that, so bear that in mind. <laughs> this ring finger is going to be a marble now. So I put the soft pastel blue at the cuticle area just so that we've got a nice neat cuticle area to begin with. And I went out of shot for this. And also the soft pastel pink got lost in the mega white, so don't do that. <laughs> I went in with the cotton candy here. Um, when I do marbles, I do like to make sure the marble goes all in the same direction. So obviously you can see we're going from top right to bottom left. And I'm just going to put beads of colour on different colours and just sort of marble them together. I'm not a marble expert. But I think, although although I look like I'm doing these like really oddly, I don't think my marbles are that bad in the end. You know, they turn out all right. They do turn out all right, I think. I'm not floating my own boat. Hang on. Yeah, don't mean to float my own boat, whatever they say. Is that the... Yeah, that is the phrase, isn't it? It sounds wrong in my head. <laughs> so that's the marble that you can now see because I've moved it into shot. The index finger... Um, ignore the middle finger for now. I wasn't quite sure what to do on the middle finger at this point, so I went into the I went on to the index finger. Um, we're going to put soft pastel blue at the free edge and Bermuda Bay at the cuticle area. So we're going to do we're copying the pinky, only we're doing it with the blue colours. You'll see in a minute. I really really like Bermuda Bay. I thought it was more of a bluey shimmer, but on. It looks just, it just looks like a white shimmer here. Isn't that pretty? I'm going to go in with another bead because it looks a bit, um, a bit patchy. So we're just going to, oh, it's so pretty. So that's the blue equivalent of the pinky. Back to the middle finger, I decided to do an ombre. So I'm going to, put the pink at the cuticle end cuticle end cuticle area and work it down and then I'm going to put the blue at the free edge and work it up I did work quite wet here so you can see the hat you can see the finger still underneath but it, it does cover eventually um, blue at the free edge and blend it up into that pink they blended really nicely together I am going to go back in with some pink in a minute remember you don't want to make this too thick because I'm gonna put some glitter on this one as well 
I'm going to go in with a little bit more pink. There we go. And that's our ombre. And then I'm going to take some of the Twinkerbell glitter. The Twinkerbell glitter, you can't see it until we get to the thumb, but it's got stars in, little pink stars as well. It's really, really pretty. So I'm kind of doing um, a, a, an, I was going to say an S shape, but this is a backwards S shape. We're just doing a, a swoosh. We don't really want to cover that ombre because it's quite a nice one. So when your ombres do go wrong, you can do this, but I was quite pleased with this ombre. Look at the glitter. Oh my God, it's so cute literally love it um back to the marble i've just put a really thin layer of clear on it and i'm just you can see the pink stars now can't you they do do there are bigger pink stars in it as well which i will put on the thumb so the, oh look oh no i decided that it wasn't quite right for that now so i didn't put them on i didn't put one on that now there we go I will cap them properly in a minute. I thought this now was going to be quite bulky, but actually, when I when I um, when I fold it, it didn't turn out too badly. The thumb, I'm just going to put. put ba -ba 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 -ba. <laughs> I'm just going to put a base color of the a base layer, a thin layer of that pink, the pastel pink. Sorry, and then I'm going to go over that with Twinkle Bell. And on this one, we're going to make sure we've got some of those bigger stars. So you can really see now what you get in that glitter. So you get those, oh, I just think this is so fun. So you can put as much on or as little as you want. There we go. So this is what they look like before I've capped them and filed and buffed them. And then this is what they look like once they've been filed and cleaned up. And then obviously we're going to come to the best part, which is top coat and term. <laughs> I'm using Leo Nails Urban Graffiti top coat to top coat the nails. I'm trying to use up some of my uh, top coats because I just don't want them to go bad. Um, I really, really like this marble nail in the end. The marbles are starting to be my favourite nails. <laughs> some reason when I start them I just I think no that's gonna be awful and then they're actually really nice so yeah I'm really pleased with how that turned out and I really like this one as well that pink looks very pastely doesn't it but I think that looks so cute then onto the blue fade or is it a gradient I don't know And then I'm going to show you the thumb because that is that is the glitter in its full glory. This is really, really pretty. I bet that would look gorgeous over blue as well. Isn't that nice? Oh my giddy aunt. So we're going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds because I think Urban Graffiti is a 60 second cure. And this is the finished set. I'll give you a quick close up. Oh, I just love it so much. I love this set. This is my favourite set of the week so far, even though I haven't done any more nails yet. <laughs> so I hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing. And I'll see you lovely lot tomorrow. Have an amazing Wednesday. And good luck to everyone at Beauty UK who have entered the competitions. Fingers crossed for you all. Bye.